very warm welcome to all of those of you who are joining us by the internet. We're glad to have you along this evening for evening prayer on the eve of the 16th Sunday after Trinity. We hope you will join us in the morning at 9.30 for our morning service here at St. Luke's in beautiful Blue Ridge, Georgia. We have with us in the church, we have Rodney and Jean Allen, uh, Jim Noblet, uh, Bob Morgan, and Reverend Ron, Ron Wickender. Again, we're glad you're joining us uh, to this morning or this evening. Our first hymn is it's not a new hymn by any manner of means. It was written in uh, 1145 and it's uh, attributed to St. Bernard of Cluny, Jerusalem the Golden, uh, hymn number 597. <laughs> mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his walls which he set before us. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Page 23. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed on thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hear the Lord of a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. <clears throat> 
Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of the sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all those who truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The proper psalms appointed to be read are the psalms for the 26th day, evening, beginning on page 488. We sit for the psalms. I call to my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, and I will keep thy statutes. Yea, even unto death do I call. Help me, and I shall keep thy testimony. Early in the morning do I cry unto thee, for in thy word is my trust. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might be occupied in thy word. Hear my voice, O Lord, according unto thy loving kindness. Quicken me according to thy judgments. They draw nigh that have malice persecuted me, and they are far from thy law. Be thou nigh at hand, O Lord, for all thy commandments are true. As concerning thy testimonies, I have known long since that thou hast grounded them forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O consider mine adversary, and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Avenge thou my cause, and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Health is far from the ungodly, for they reward not thy statutes. Great is thy mercy, O Lord, quicken me as thou art wont. Many there are that trouble me and persecute me, yet do I not swerve from thy testimonies. It grieveth me when I see the transgressors, because they keep not thy law. Consider, O Lord, how I love thy commandments. O quicken me according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from everlasting. All the judgments of thy righteousness endure forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I am as glad of thy word as one that findeth great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee, because of thy righteous judgments. Great is the peace that they have who love thy law, and they have none occasion of stumbling. Lord, I have looked for thy saving help, and done after thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, 
and love them exceedingly. I have kept thy commandments and testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let my complaint come before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall speak of thy praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. Yea, my tongue shall sing of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteous. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy commandments. I have longed for thy saving health, O Lord, and in thy law is my delight. O oh, let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and thy judgment shall help thee. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. O oh, seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the 43rd chapter of Ecclesiasticus. The pride of the height, the clear firmament, the beauty of heaven with his glorious show, the sun when it appeareth, declaring at his rising a marvelous instrument, the work of the Most High. At noon it parched the country, and who can abide the burning heat thereof? A man blowing a furnace is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more, breathing out fiery vapors, and sending forth bright beams, it dimmeth the eyes. Great is the Lord that made it, and at his commandment runneth hastily. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feasts, a light that decreaseth in her perfection. The month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. The beauty of heaven, the glory of the stars, an ornament giving light in the highest places of the Lord. At the commandment of the Holy One, one they will stand in their order and never faint in their watches. Look upon the rainbow, and praise him that made it. Very beautiful it is in the brightness thereof. It compasseth the heaven about with a glorious circle, and the hands of the Most High have bended it. Here ended the first lesson. The Magnificat, A Song of Mary, page 26. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the ninth verse of the ninth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he saith unto him, 
follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast off, but thy disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then they shall fast. No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Here ended the second lesson. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon, page 28. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O oh, oh Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O oh Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O oh Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, we beseech thee, let thy continual pity cleanse and defend thy church. And because it cannot continue in safety without thy succor, preserve it evermore by thy hope and goodness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thine only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting in power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land, and so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, 
and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory, and that we and all the people, duly considering whose authority they bear, might faithfully and obediently honor them according to thy blessed word and ordinance. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for all police officers, firefighters, and others in emergency services, those who remain on the job at this time of pandemic and social unrest. We pray especially for our police chief, Johnny Searcy, who remains in hospital. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all medical doctors, nurses, health care workers, and all who work for the common good. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all educators, school administrators, and students, that they may be kept safe. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for these United States that violence, hatred, discord, and prejudice may be put to flight, and the blessings of peace, civil discourse, goodwill, and trust may be restored. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in areas where natural um, phenomenon has call, have caused hardship, fire, and uh, flood. Those who work to bring about uh, relief. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Amen. prayer. We pray for those in this parish family who celebrate birthdays during this coming week. Darlene McLean, Angie Arcott, Bob Lee, Matt Roddenberry. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who serve in the armed services of this country, especially those who have connections to this parish church. Tyler Ketron, Wesley Ryan McIntosh, Christian Wade Newman, Kyle Morgan, Sam Soon, Matthew Muse, Jake Baker, and Mark Rodriguez. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for those who have requested our prayers. We pray by name for Al Cash, Richard and Mercedes Masinko, Murray Newman, Gordon Rainier, Elizabeth Ann White, Tim Higdon, Rosemary Gore, Connie Parks, Dot Washburn, Rose Brass, Evelyn Bryant, Eileen Kerr, Pootie Gwen Skelton, Jim and Ruby Tresca, Bruce Birkinshaw, Pat and Sharon Deering, Tom Hofer, Ray Pickett, Ann Thomason, Marilyn Seiler, Don Hess, Marilyn Kiff Miller, Roseanne Johnston, Annie Lepuker, Jackie Lumpkin, Pope Family in Mobile area, Larry and Margaret Perry, Dolly Cross, and Johnny Searcy. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most heartily and humble thanks for all of thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love 
in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. <coughs> Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Amen.